guys welcome back okay so today's video should be very fun uh yeah it should be fun and interesting just to kind of get to know me a little bit better if you don't already know most of my regular viewers know me pretty well but today i'm doing a video uh it's a tag video and it's called the palette wardrobe yeah the eyeshadow palette wardrobe and it was created by morgan turner and charlotte holcroft hopefully i'm saying that correctly i had never watched uh charlotte holcroft before but i did kind of check her out you know just looking at this tag and stuff i've seen morgan turner a few times but i'm not a regular viewer of hers but I thought this was a really, really fun, cute, interesting tag to do. Now, the only other person that I had watched do this tag a while back ago was Kara from Beauty and the Frizz. And when she did it, and she did it, you know, with her collab partners, I was like, oh, that's a cute tag. But I was thinking it would re wouldn't really fit my vibe because, or the expected answers for these questions would kind of be more palettes that... I'm not really feeling, you know, or I'm not really drawn to. So I was like, oh, okay, I won't do it. But then my girl Karen Harris proposed to me for us to do this tag. And I was like, it's a really cute tag, but I don't know if it really fits my vibe. And so we decided to put our own little colorful spin on it. So with this being the eyeshadow palette wardrobe tag, we decided we were going to go ahead and just really answer these questions the way that we would actually answer them which just happens to be a bit more colorful a bit more vibrant so and you'll kind of see as i go through the questions what i mean the person that i'm doing this tag with is karen harris she is out here in these youtube streets doing the dang thing she is like the hardest working youtuber out here she uploads i swear she uploads every day and i'm not exaggerating every day i don't know how she does it okay because if you are a youtuber you know that it is work to do actual edited videos and upload them every single day to do the filming do the editing you know upload add your tags and information it's a lot okay so i take my hat off to her <laughs> but the, what I love about Karen's channel is that she is real down to earth. Now, her whole mantra is, is it tan girl friendly? So everything that she talks about on her channel and reviews on her channel is basically like to say, hey, is it tan girl friendly? And I think that's great because a lot of times you might be looking for a review on something and you want to see somebody who looks like you review that product so you can see how it's going to look on you. And that is her whole theme and i think that's really really cool is the tan girl friendly she's real she's down to earth she's very opinionated and has no problem speaking her mind i love it she's really funny and she does beautiful makeup so <laughs> yeah so this is karen harris so i'm sure i put a picture of her up by now but we are doing this tag together the wardrobe tag so i have talked quite a bit I feel like so let's go ahead and jump into these questions okay so basically it's scenarios of what palette would I grab to use you know on myself to do a look if I was going to a certain type of event so that's what it is 10 types of events let's jump right in okay so the first event is a wedding <laughs> For me, when I think about going to a wedding, my first thought is, okay, you don't want to outshine the bride, period, point blank. No matter what you wear, no matter how you do your makeup, your hair, everything, you don't want to outshine the bride. Okay, that's her day to shine and you need to just be over here, you know, looking cute, but looking less cute than the bride. <laughs> so my thing is, is when picking a palette for this, that was my thinking. And so I thought that this MAC and Aaliyah palette would actually be a good palette for me to choose for a wedding because if I'm going to a wedding I want to be respectful I want to be kind of I want to look nice pretty soft sophisticated as well fit in but I don't want to like I said outshine the bride now what I like about this Aaliyah palette is it is pretty it's cute it's a little bit understated, but there is, you know, little pops of purple in there if I do want to kind of add just a little bit of color to my look for the wedding. So 
Yeah, I decided to go ahead and choose this palette. It's very, very neutral, very basic. Um, but, you know, if I do want to kind of show out a little bit on my lid, I can add this purple without feeling like I'm doing anything too dramatic to kind of outshine the bride. Still look nice and soft and pretty. So I chose this and I like the fact that it is small. I typically prefer larger palettes, but I like the fact that it's small because it doesn't give me a lot of wiggle room. It kind of forces me to stay in this little, you know, what is it? Nine, <laughs> these tiny little nine shadows to create my look. So I can't venture out too much and get out of hand. Okay, so number two would be date night. Now for date night, I have the option to really go out, go wild, go crazy, okay? Because if you're familiar with my husband, you know he's not low key or shy or anything like that. If you don't know, my husband is a YouTuber as well. I will link his channel up above somewhere. <laughs> so you can check him out if you want. But my husband loves the bright, bold, you know, just adventurous eye looks that I do, which is great for me because that's what I like to do. So I really have free range to use any palette that I want for date night. I don't have to keep it, you know, smoky, soft, subtle, neutral, none of that. So, but the palette that I chose, I didn't go too, too wild, is this colored rain, Cheers to the Beauty palette. And the reason why I chose this palette is because of the beautiful shimmers in this palette. You got your gold, your blue, your green, you know, but if I want to just go, you know, with a nice like red crease, kind of like what I have right now and just really pop that color on there just to shine, you know, we're in a restaurant, it's dimly lit. You know, he's looking at my eyes and he sees that beautiful blue or green on the lid, you know, he can't control himself okay <laughs> but yeah so i chose this palette because i think this would be a really really fun date night palette i have options for my shimmers and you know i could still keep it low key if i want to depending on where we're going if we're going somewhere a little more classy then you know i could tone it down a little bit but i thought this would be an excellent date night palette for me so number three is girls night okay now for girls night you might think I want to do something, you know, kind of, I don't know, fun, flirty. And that's exactly what I think. When I think girls night, I'm like, I'm going out with my girls. We having a good time. We're going to party, laugh, dance, drink, all of that. Okay. And listen, my close girlfriends, one of them actually has her own beauty line, okay? DJ, I know you guys know who DJ is. Now, how am I gonna go out on girls night without using our favorite things, which is one of her eyeshadow palettes, okay? She does have two now. But yeah, this was her very first eyeshadow palette that she came out with, and I immediately thought of it when I thought girls night, because I'm like, I'm going out with my girls, hang out. I'm gonna use my girls palette, okay? So. Yeah, this is her palette, Our Favorite Things. Now, this is color, okay? And I love every minute of it. But you also have, you know, neutral shades, some neutral shimmers in here as well. If we're going somewhere a little bit more classy, sophisticated, you know, I could tone it down a bit. But for the most part, if I'm going out and partying, honey, I want to look good and I want to shine, okay? So, and that's kind of like all of our personalities. We all like to get out, have fun, be bold, look good and stuff like that. So, yeah, I thought this would be the perfect palette for a fun night, a party, wherever we're going. If we're going to a festival, if we are out dancing, if we are, you know, doing whatever girls do when they go out, this is a perfect palette because you can definitely create a lot of different looks with this palette. You can do one color looks. I love doing one color looks where you just blow it out in the crease and then you pop a shimmer or just do the one color. You'd be amazed if you've never tried to do just the one color eye look. They look really, really nice. You just kind of blow it out, put on a little eyeliner, mascara, very pretty. Anything to match your outfit and you look great. So yeah our favorite things for girls night okay so next is vacation and for me typically if i'm going somewhere on vacation i want there to be water involved i want there to be a lot of tropical 
beverages, libations to drink. I want there to be, you know, swimsuits, large floppy hats, just a lot of hanging out, chilling, looking good, taking pictures, all of that. So <laughs> a lot of vacations that I've been on have been on cruises. And you know, when you go on cruises, you know, you have to plan for when you're going off onto the different sites that they take you to, if it's different beaches and stuff, or if you're shopping, but you know, you never know, you might want to go out, nice dinner, dancing, they have all kind of stuff available for you. And even on cruises, you know, they have where the nights where you have formal dresses and dress, you know, for photos and stuff. So you want to kind of class it up, look really nice, sophisticated. So when I think of vacation, I think of options. I need a palette that's going to give me options. Everything from a beautiful, bold peacock look so I can hang out on the beach and take Instagram photos to the formal dinners on the cruise night with my husband where I'm dressed up very nicely and I just want something smoky, maybe a pop of color on the lid. So I need options, okay? Now, if you've watched my channel, <laughs> you know that I love playing and makeup by Yolando and this Jamrock No Limitations palette that she has is one of my favorites it, it's almost my favorite but it is one of my favorite palettes the reason why i love this palette is because of the variety as you can see here i can do a rainbow look if i want i can do any type of colorful look but i can also do beautiful fall grungy just basic looks <laughs> you know because once again, you can do the one color looks. The shimmers in this palette are just crazy, okay? And I love, love, love them. But for me, this palette I love because I have options. Now, if I took this palette with me on vacation, I wouldn't have to worry about what am I gonna use for any type of eye look. The only thing that I miss in this palette is there's no black, but these colors down here are dark enough, honestly, for me to smoke out any look the way that I want to. If I want to just do a neutral look, a smoky eye, something simple, I can. So yeah, this palette right here would be vacation, no brainer. Oh, we going on vacation for a week? That's it, two weeks, that's it, that's all I need. So yeah, I love this palette. Okay, the next one is graduation. Now, that one was kind of tricky for me because, you know, when I graduated from high school, I wasn't wearing makeup. I didn't wear makeup in high school. <laughs> so, um, at that time, I would have just probably done like mascara and liner and a lip gloss or something. So, I didn't need no eyeshadow palette. And for college, I didn't graduate from college. I mean, I sh should have. I came so close. But... For a college graduation back then, I probably would have done the same thing. I really didn't get into makeup until I was in my 40s. Go figure, right? But if I was, you know, at this point in time right now, graduating from college, the palette that I would choose, I think, would be this uh, Shayla and ColourPop Proceed with Caution. What I like about this palette, because when I think of graduation, I think of just kind of like something soft, smoky, you know, nothing too out there because, you know, like everyone has said with graduations, you definitely are taking a lot of pictures. And although you might want to take some pictures that reflect the time that you graduated, you kind of want it to be timeless because they are pictures that do sit on the mantle that, you know, people do keep and look at and stuff for years to come. So... I think this palette here would be perfect for a graduation because for me, it still has little pops of color and some really pretty shimmers in here that you can use to kind of amp up your look. If you do want to go there just a little bit with it, but still kind of keep it graduation appropriate, <laughs> you know, whatever that means. But I would feel very comfortable using this palette if I was graduating from something <laughs> right now and still feel like, okay, if I want to add a little pop of yellow, a little shimmer, gold shimmer, then, you know, I could still let my personality shine through while still kind of keeping it toned down a bit for pictures. Okay, so the next one is Christmas Day. Now, 
when I read that, I was like, Christmas Day. Usually on Christmas Day, I'm like, I'm in my jammies. I'm in a little onesie, you know, with a little Christmas theme on it with my Santa hat and my little slippers trying to open some gifts and drink some cocoa. Like, who put no makeup on Christmas Day? So I'm assuming it is for if I'm having guests over for dinner or if I'm going to someone's house for a Christmas dinner or family visiting, things like that, I guess. Because, honey, just me and my fam and my hubby and my kids, I'm just going to be chilling in my onesie and my little socks <laughs> and my Santa hat that I always wear. But, yeah, so I think, you know, with my personality, if I was having people over, say I was cooking a Christmas dinner, I would want to be festive and I would want to go along with the theme of Christmas. Now, I chose this Juvia's Wahala palette, okay? This is what I chose to play with on Christmas Day because... The thing is, if I'm having people over for Christmas dinner, it's at my house, you know, I really do the whole decorations and all that, I might just really want to get festive and do green and red, you know, for Christmas. Something, it's funny because <laughs> my eye look today kind of looks green and red. But if I was to do something like this, then this palette is perfect because it has red in here. It also has this beautiful green shimmer. But if I wanted to do something a little more sophisticated, I'm going to someone's house for dinner. I have these purples over here, really pretty, but maybe I want to do something kind of fun and colorful like the blues over here. You know, sometimes people do like blue and silver for Christmas colors. So I think it would kind of depend on how I feel that day, what my Christmas theme is in my house. But typically, since, you know, Christmas is my favorite holiday, since I love my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, okay, um, I, I would jazz it up. You know, I want to do something really festive and pretty and sparkly for the holiday, you know? It's like, hello. Okay, now the next one is a birthday party. And I wasn't really sure, you know, you think birthday parties, sometimes immediately you think like a kid's party, but I don't have any young kids, so I wouldn't be having a young kid's birthday party or typically going to one at this point in my life. So I'm going to assume it's for an adult's birthday party. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like I would want to kind of be a little fun, you know, a little colorful, a little bright, just something that says party. And I feel like I really, really like this Pinky Rose Luscious Plum Palette for a birthday party. I think that it is just really, really pretty. Whenever I open this palette, it just says fun to me. But the reason why I chose this one in regards to a birthday party in particular, if you are going to a birthday party and it's one, <laughs> it's not like you're going to a birthday party for somebody who's not so fun, you know, not so out there and you want to kind of keep it a little chill, you can stay over here in this kind of like mauve you know, toned down area or if you like me or say like you going to somebody's party like my girl Lily, okay <laughs> now if i was going to my girl Lily's party over here all day long over here with these beautiful bright shades the purples the corals it's just so vibrant i love this palette and to me it says party i think it's really really pretty and i would definitely use this to create an eye look for a birthday party for sure okay so the next one is office so my whole working career, I worked in an office. You know, I don't work right now, so I'm not in the office right now, but ever since I was 18, I've been working in an office environment. And here's the funny thing. I don't wear, I never wore make, makeup to work, never. If I did kind of like venture out a little bit, it would just be a little bit of eyeliner, a little mascara, maybe some gloss, you know, something simple. I was young at the time, so I didn't need all of this. I didn't need all of this, okay? I still was young and spry, so I wasn't worried about makeup and stuff. But yeah, when I worked in the office, I didn't really wear makeup. Now, if I was to go back to work like tomorrow and work in an office, I'd probably still do the same thing, liner, mascara a little something on my lips i might do like concealer 
instead of full on foundation, but just something to kind of even my skin out. But yeah, it's like when I'm at work, especially in an office environment, it's like, you know, I'm fooling with papers and dealing with people and touching stuff. It's just too easy to get foundation and powder and all that stuff all over the place. And there's nothing more annoying to me than getting makeup on some work paperwork you know you look down you got foundation on the you know spreadsheet it's really annoying so anyways i never wore makeup to work like that but if i did choose a palette to wear to work i would choose the jackie Ina and abh palette okay now this palette is gorgeous of course you guys know but the reason why i would choose this palette is because this palette has the options for uh me to kind of do like just really soft muted type looks just using a gentle hand if i don't go into ham nice little light pops of shimmer on the lid but if i did kind of want to spruce it up a little bit and look a little cute that day you know i could venture over here and just get some more color going on in my eye look even with you know these different shimmers in here where you can add just a little dimension some purple, you know, some pretty like rosy pinks. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think for me, you know, if I was wearing makeup to work, I typically, I wouldn't do just like a neutral look or I wouldn't just do a brown look or something. That's just not my personality, honey. I need a little bit of color. <laughs> so I would definitely choose this palette to use for like my everyday work looks for sure. Now this next one, when I saw it, it was hilarious to me. It's your everyday eyeshadow palette for if you're just going out running errands and things like that. And it was funny to me because it's like, I don't think, you know, when people typically say, this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video when I said that I didn't think that this tag would really fit me because you say, okay, well, what would be your typical everyday eyeshadow palette just to go run and run errands and stuff? And it's like, I run errands like this, <laughs> okay? So I'm not picking a Too Faced or a Tarte or anything like soft and neutral and brown to wear even for every day, okay? I feel more comfortable wearing this, you know, to Target or to the grocery store than wearing a neutral look. I just don't feel comfortable in a neutral look because it's not my personality. So I laughed when I saw that because I was like, people are gonna be like, girl, you are crazy. You can't use that for an everyday palette, but I absolutely can and I absolutely do. <laughs> so I chose my Be Perfect Carnival palette, okay? <laughs> Y'all know I love these colorful palettes. Between this palette and the Plain and Makeup by Yolando, those are my favorite palettes. Ain't no getting around it. It's what I love. That's just what I like. So this would be <laughs> my everyday palette, okay? And the reason why this would be my choice for an everyday palette is because because of the way my brain works, the way I think I need options. Let's not forget that. Everybody say it with me. KK needs options, okay? So I have the option to go neutral if I want. I have the option to go smoky if I want. I have the option to do a whole full on rainbow butterfly on my face if I want. So this is my everyday palette. <laughs> when I sit down, this is what I wanna see, quite frankly, quite honestly. It is really hard for me to sit down with palettes that have, you know, just like a theme because unless I just wanna do a blue eye look or a green eye look or, a pink eye look, I need options. So this would definitely be my everyday palette to sit down and play in right here. Okay, and the last type of scenario for this tag is New Year's. <laughs> so, you know, it's so funny. I don't know, I think in my whole life, I've only done something super special on New Year's like once and it just drives me insane because i have been dying to do something fun exciting you know just plan something for new year's my whole adult life and because of the fact that i always want to but something always comes up you know it's always you know just it doesn't work out 
I just really want to do something fun for New Year's. So, you know, for New Year's, I'm thinking just beautiful, sparkly color, something just really, really pretty on the lids. So, you know, you look beautiful when that ball drops, okay? And make your boo want to kiss you even more, okay? So, I decided that I would choose the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Frankation palette. Now, this palette is really, really pretty, but... What I love about this palette is these shimmers. All of the shimmers in this palette are just so, so pretty. They're absolutely gorgeous. And any of these shimmers will look absolutely beautiful on the lid, on New Year's. You know, the ball drops, the countdown, you feeling real pretty and looking good. Your eyes are blinging. Yeah, any of these shimmers look absolutely gorgeous for new year's so let me just <laughs> i know i didn't swatch anything but i'm about to sit here and swatch the new year's shimmers but look at those shimmers okay very very pretty and any of these will look absolutely gorgeous on your lid for new year's y'all know i would have the blue on my lid <laughs> for new year's but yeah i thought this would be a great pick to wear you know to have your eyes glistening and looking pretty when that ball drops so that is it you guys for my version of the palette or eyeshadow palette wardrobe tag i had a lot of fun once i kind of let loose and was like okay you know what i have to make this tag reflect my personality then it was easier for me to do so don't forget to check out Karen Harris makeup I will link her channel above below all over make sure you check out her video check out her channel I'm sure you will find some videos on there that you love to watch because like I said she uploads every day <laughs> so she has content for that <laughs> you know so yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch this eyeshadow wardrobe tag and i will see you on my next video Ta -da!